minute of light rain at last. It has not rained in a month and a half, and perhaps we had only six rains in all of 2020 in this yard. The screen is open, but just as a comparison, look at it. <laughs> I laugh every time because it just blows me away. So there, of course, is the fixed screen. And this is the screen that's open at the moment. Really a wonderful pro Thank you, John. Thank you, Albert. Thank you, Steve. Victor. I sometimes think that for mom and dad coming here, it being hot and dry a lot of the time was comparable to Tamil Nadu. So it was natural to want that. And I outgrew it, of course, by being Citoyen du Monde and a traveler. I love to keep moving. But when I think of that, I come to the conclusion that there are things that people in Tamil Nadu do <clears throat> that I used to think of as unique to there that apply here. So I do them here, and people here think I'm strange. For example, if it rains, I always go outside in the rain. Sorry, Angela, it doesn't work now. Disonne. La sol is not available. And if I was in Telenad, that's what I would do in the month of May after months of hot, horrible weather. I would, uh, Go out. If it rained, I would go outside and stand in the rain. That's what I would do. And so I do it here often. Uh, we'll, we'll be in a restaurant or a bar and it'll start raining and everybody goes, will be like <gasps> excited and, you know, hunched over their drink or food and I'll go running out and I'll get soaking wet. Because who knows when it's going to rain again. <laughs> Is the logic of a person who lives in Tamil Nadu or in uh, hot, dry places like San Antonio, Texas is becoming. My father said it for 30 years. This rampant overdevelopment creates a heat sink. And then the rain will not want to come here. And that is exactly what's happened. So thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>